All right, let's talk business now with Melissa Armo. She's the founder and owner of The Stock Swoosh and is an expert stock market analyst. Melissa, thanks for joining us tonight. Good evening. How are you? All right, Melissa, I'm great. When I look at this jobs report number, I can only be encouraged by the U.S. economy. We saw average hourly earnings jump by more than 3%. Overall, U.S. employers added more than 225,000 workers. What does this tell you about the state of the U.S. economy? Well, it just continues to get stronger and stronger. Again, this is a big number, way more jobs than were expected. Normally, I would say you would see the market rally on a day like today. But overall, if you look at January through now, the first of the year, the market has been very, very strong. I think if it wasn't for this virus going on right now in China, that scared the way that people are scared about it and how it could affect some of these companies, I think the market would have made brand new all time highs today. It did yesterday, though. The market has been extremely strong for 2020. Look, uh, Melissa, as we mentioned, 225,000 jobs created, unemployment rate at a 50-year low, 3.5%. At what point do you hit saturation? At what point is the economy unable to create more jobs? Well, I guess when everyone's working and you have 0% unemployment, then there'll be saturation. I, I don't know if that would ever happen. If we ever get under 3%, I think that would be phenomenal. It's hard to say that the numbers now are not phenomenal, but I have to say that one of the reasons why I think the economy is so strong is because of the Trump tax cuts. Some people were against them, but overall, you can see the tax cuts really did work. Why? Because it gave a big rebate for corporations, and they, in turn, have used some of that money, the savings, the tax savings, to actually hire more people. And, you know, when people are working and earning a living for themselves and working and making money, they feel better about themselves, and they go out and spend. So that's how the economy keeps chugging along and growing, and people are spending money as well. Consumer confidence has been high, too. Look, you can't argue that the economy is booming, as you mentioned, the Trump administration's tax cuts. There's also been massive deregulation that's helped businesses across the board. We're waiting for the effect of the U.S.-China trade deal to take uh, effect. There is a slight delay, though, because of the coronavirus uh, situation in China and the impact that that's having. How much of a delay do you think it's going to have on the benefits that are expected to come through from the phase one U.S.-China trade deal? Well, we're going to find out in the next week. I guess the deadline was February 15th, if I'm correct. But the bottom line is that Apple already has closed some of their stores in China. Now they said they were going to reopen them February 10th on Monday. Now they push that back to February 15th. But again, when you look at the stock in Apple, Apple's near the highs too. It sold off slightly today with the market, but overall you don't see a great big impact so far on the stock. Could we see a one day sell off if these things don't reopen in the next week? Yes. Overall, though, I think it's unfortunate a way the virus came to be where they didn't let enough people know about how dangerous it was so quickly. And then obviously it's left the country. And we really don't know how many people, I guess, are infected overall worldwide. Well, we are getting the latest number to be at around 34,400. But to your point, we're not really clear what is happening in China. And there's been some concern that the Beijing authorities have not been as forthright about it. We had these fantastic job numbers. As you mentioned, the markets took a hit because of the coronavirus concerns. But that wasn't the sentiment earlier this week. In fact, we hit new record highs. So why do you think we saw this market change with regards to coronavirus worries? I think this sell-off that we just talked today could follow through perhaps on a gap down Monday morning, but then we're going to rally. We're going to continue rallying into support. All the big major earnings are out so far for this earnings season. And you look at the Amazon, Amazon blew through a huge number today, over 2,100 or near 2,100. The market is still strong. So look for continued strength in the market, even if we see a one-day sell-off reaction from the virus. Thank you so much, Melissa. Thanks for joining us tonight, Melissa Armo. All right, now for tonight's notable number.